Oh my, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. Yo, 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 family, what's going on? Welcome to another episode. It's your guy, Boy with a Lucky Libra. And as you can see by the title, we picking it up with Venus in Virgo. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it. I had to roll me up one for this one, all right? Because we might have to go a little bit in for the Venus in Virgos. Why? Because this is a debilitated placement. So Venus is uncomfortable here. But first of all, what is Venus? Venus is our values. Venus is how, how we appreciate, what we support, how we connect to our pleasures, how we connect to the things that we appreciate and support. Venus shows us, you know, our love language, the things that we kind of seek in our partners, in our relationships, how we relate our values and connect them with others, all right? so. Overall, how we motherfucking love. <laughs> so when we have Virgo, okay, Virgo's mutable Earth, mutable Earth ruled by Mercury. So when you're mutable, mutable Earth, you know, Earth is dealing with foundation, reality, practicality, okay, structure, organization, all right, making sense of things. And we have motherfucking, we have uh, Mercury, okay. We have Mercury and it's mutable. So it can learn from other people how other people build stability. It's very critical and likes to see the details how other people deal with stability, think about stability, express things relating to structural organization or helping it see, or Virgos wanna see what they could take, what they could build from the external realm to build in what they own. But this is why they also helpers. You know, Virgos love to help, they love to service. They could overcompensate themselves in servicing, and Venus and Virgos can overcompensate themselves in over servicing. Because what does Venus do? It values wherever it's at, it appreciates wherever it's at, it supports wherever it's at. So, when we're talking about Virgo, when we're talking about day to day routine, schedule, organizing, how you're working on things, how you see the details to what you're working on, how you revise and reflect what you're working on, okay? This is what a Venus and Virgo values. They value motherfucking organization in their life. They value structure in their life. They value dealing with others that got order and routine in their life, okay? You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it in Venus and Virgos. You're gonna see how neat they are. You're gonna see how they fold their clothes after laundry. I mean, I use this. I just used this in the Mercury series, talking about Mercury and Capricorn fold their clothes right after they take it out the dryer. The Venus and Virgo, same type time, all right? You ain't gonna come to their bedroom, everything's uh, uh, upside down, and they don't know where their utensils, their notepad and their journals at, and their, their you know, their makeup at. The Venus and Virgo, they, they, Venus deals with your values. So these people also understand that to obtain your values in the physical form. We're talking about earth now. It gets physical here. We're talking about earth. We could talk about some possessions and material things here. So when you got Venus and Virgo, these people understand that there has to be a work ethic behind the things you want to connect to in this physical reality. Like fuck a handout. I'm gonna work for this shit. I'm gonna put in the work in the routine that this that, that I need to put in for this value to manifest. And you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it in their personality. Not so much probably in their personality, but you're gonna see it when it starts when you start connecting with this person and you get you guys start getting a little intimate and start relating some some personal things. You're gonna see this Venus and Virgo's approach for a career and for how they wanna bring some form of structure to their life and how they and how they look at people, places, and things externally, how, how these things affect what they trying to bring structure to their life. Venus is Virgos, they, they got their eye on that, okay? Now, this is the thing, Venus is debilitated here. Why? Because when we look at it, Venus wants, now, when we talk about debilitations, exalt, exaltations, home placements, falls, detriments, these are all by nature, these are all natural alignments. 
all right so these are really based off angles and positionings but you know you could break it down you could just break it down by looking at the archetype of the energies all right so we know venus deals with connecting to her pleasures and she deal with love and she deal with relating that to another party okay she deal with creativity and being able to indulge into that and the nice things that she wants okay so when you have uh the sign of virgo which is dealing with work which is dealing with you know routine was dealing with organization it's dealing with priority okay responsibility when you put venus in here she's like uh damn that's what i gotta value like it's like this is a great thing to value this is a this is a superb thing to value something everybody need a motherfucking value and if you ain't valuing no day-to-day -day routine, no formal organization, schedule in your life, then you could you could just summarize on that on your own. But um, when Venus gets in here, she's like, I gotta, this is what I gotta relate and connect to and find pleasures in. Like she's looking at it from that aspect. So these people naturally love to work. These people naturally love to walk that journey for their goals. They embrace the marathon of that journey, all right, where others may not. Earth gonna deal with some time, patience. Earth signs got that. Earth signs understand patience. Earth placements grasp um, growth. So when you put Venus in, um, in, in motherfucking Virgo, it's like, when they work on things, okay, when it comes to when it comes to how they when it comes to how they relate what they working on it could be from a too a little too practical okay when venus is dealing with some feelings and whatnot so this is when we start to hit some issues in the relationship department and we, uh whatnot for venus and virgos because you guys value working so much there's an energy within you there's a frequency vibration within you with this placement that that makes you feel like you have to support things to make everything in your life more organized but this comes down to people places and things it's just it just doesn't stay in the career in the workplace and your ambitions and goals and how we want to value and appreciate and support those things it starts trickling down into how you relate to others and relationships because you start to feel like you have to work on these things all right when a lot of times things then with relationships need to flow all right venus and virgos you can overcompensate yourself in potentials that you see in relationships. You could, okay, so like you have a Venus and Virgo person, you guys could, you know, start dating somebody, and it's like you see the potential of what this relationship could bring. At that moment, you need to understand that you seeing that potential, you have to let that come to you. You have to let that play out. You have to let that align. All right, damn, my battery about to die, but I'm good if it dies. So. You have to let that come to you. You can't start getting into a frequency vibration where you feel like, all right, I got to schedule, organize, routine this relationship. I got to make sure me and this person talking this much. We date, we go to this many dates this week. We get, let this person show some effort, Venus and Virgo. Putting all that love responsibility on your back, Venus and Virgo. All right? So there comes a debilitation of dealing with love and whatnot with Venus and Virgo. And it can play out in these type of ways. It could also play out in ways where you guys feel like you guys could be taken advantage of trying to value the potential of something you're working towards in a relationship. You value the potential of it so much to the point that this person could pick that up and now you're in a space where you're vulnerable and they could take advantage of that. And then y'all could get in that space where y'all gain awareness of that and you still in the space of trying to now, you could even direct that energy to yourself, aka looking at yourself like you're the problem. Look, looking at what you got, what you, what details you got to fix about yourself. When this whole relationship was just the experience for you to understand that you overcompensate, and it's not for you to place more of a responsibility on yourself. When you gain that awareness, that is when you're supposed to detach or learn your lesson and evolve and be like, okay, damn, I can't be dealing like this with my love. I gotta let it flow a little bit. I can get taken advantage and put myself in vulnerable spaces when I'm trying to overcompensate so much and trying to connect values with others and trying to work in routine that so much and see the practical side to it. I gotta, I gotta learn to fill it out some more, all right? I gotta learn to pick up on the feeling that somebody else is giving me with their effort and how they're trying to work on it. 
you you putting all the building blocks to this relationship. This motherfucker ain't, ain't laying down no motherfucking cement. They ain't doing shit. <laughs> they ain't doing shit. And and the thing about it is like, you guys already love to service in a way, okay? You love to work for the things that you value. So it, you may not even look at it as responsibility until it, your back is truly against the wall in certain situations and you feel like you got no say so in a relationship, no backbone in a relationship, all right? So, uh, you know, and, and, and this person you could be dealing with could really, it's not like they could pick up on this and they still fuck with you, they could still really like or love you, but at times you just have to understand what president, what, 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 what you're, what type of energy you 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 setting as a foundation in your relationship? You gonna go out your way, Venus and Virgo. I'm not telling you to not be yourself in these relationships because you gonna naturally go out your way to service your partner. You gonna naturally go out your way to see how you could align your ideas and your ways of bringing or order and organization structure to your life because you value and appreciate that so much. You go out your way to see how you could do that for your partner. All right. Now, for the most part. Make sure your partner deserving of that, aka make sure they putting in some mutual effort. Make sure they showing some value for the shit you value, all right? Make sure you're not always overcompensated. Make sure you're receiving some of the love. Venus and Virgo got to learn to receive the love. Because y'all go out, y'all way too much to get the love. Y'all go too, up too much out the way to work on it, okay? And y'all bring some beautiful things into this world based off of y'all pat, like y'all devotion for seeing something in a in a process being worked on, man. Some people have to learn to grasp that from y'all. If you have a Venus and Virgo friend, parent, look at their diligence and look at they uh how they able to work on something in a real gradual pace and be able to uh you know have value each stage of that. Value each everything that's grown out of that. Every experience, every time they had to revise and reflect something out of that. Venus and Virgos, they embrace that. Okay, but this could go into the relationship to the point you're looking at the relationship in the same way as that goal that you're working on, on that seed that you planted and whatnot. So now it's like when these kicks come up, when these red flags come up, you you doing a little too much ignoring. AK, I can fix that. I can fix that. You was Venus and Virgo. You was not Bob the Builder. You was not Bob the Builder. All right. Do not be putting that responsibility on yourself, Venus and Virgo. Yeah, opposite, when we gonna get there, but the opposite, Venus and Pisces gotta learn, because we always learn from our opposites, Venus and Pisces gotta learn to do what y'all do. Gotta learn to look at their relationship from more practical state, see what the foundation of their relationship is, because they let it flow. They, I'm telling y'all to let it flow, they let it flow, that, that relationship could flow anywhere. They pick up on that love vibration, that that feeling, that, that, they see that potential, that, that, we gonna get there, we gonna get there. We gonna get there, Venus and Pisces, we, we, we halfway there. So, this is why I want y'all to understand, Venus and Virgo, that work ethic, that self-esteem towards manifesting that shit that you want to manifest, that you want to connect to in this physical reality, them goals and aspirations with Venus in here. Yeah, my bad, y'all uh, camera cut off, but like I was saying, y'all gonna have that, y'all got that energy within y'all. It's being more conscious about how that energy trickles into certain departments your relationships, more things you need to fill out and let flow, all right? So, you know, I love y'all Venus and Virgos. I love y'all because I got a lot of earth energy, you feel me? I'm a, Cap I'm a Capricorn moon and rising, so it's like I get around y'all energy and y'all build more self-esteem into the things that I'm ambitious about, into things that I want to build structure about, just y'all energy towards building in this, the, the, y'all value that so much, y'all make other people look at their work ethic and be like, damn, my work ethic ain't shit. Y'all make other people look uh, uh, look at, you know, the, the ways of, the forms of stability and their career pursuits and whatnot, and they have to start looking in the mirror like, damn, do I really value what I say I value? Okay? Venus and Virgo value the bag, bro. Venus and Virgo value that bag. And that's another thing y'all start over. <laughs> that's another thing that when y'all start dealing with some relationship issues, that's how y'all overcompensate. Like, you know what, whatever, man. Let me just get more, let me get some more personal structure in my life, man. 
make some more money, man. Dealing with all these goddamn love issues. I don't get it. Money don't treat me like this. <laughs> My possessions don't treat me like this. Y'all gotta be careful of that. Y'all gotta, gotta be careful of all that, though. Y'all don't dive too much into that, though. So, let's look at some, uh, some names that we got for Venus and Virgos. Okay. We got Kim Kardashian. Now, before, like I said, Venus and Virgo, y'all gonna keep that energy anywhere, anywhere y'all go. But see, like when y'all in relationships, y'all have some of the most fruitful relationships because the people that, yeah, like y'all gotta wait till y'all align with somebody that's deserving for that energy because the type of energy and care and value y'all put in y'all relationships, like that shit is not, it's not something that everybody deserve in the type of way. And y'all don't wanna exhaust yourselves to the point is like y'all get to a point not wanting to even have them type of experiences no more to, to put yourself in that place because you wouldn't read the person to see if they was deserving or worthy of them type of energies of you of them being in type in that type of energy around you and, and them bringing some more growth and structure into their life and learning to value these things more because of your influence all right so when y'all do get in relationships like i said they be real fruitful um uh, well, when y'all gauge it out from the aspect I just gave y'all. Eminem, Julia Roberts, Kylie Jenner, Robin Williams, Demi Lovato, Mick Jagger, Gwen Stefani, Robert De Niro, J.K. Rowling, Pink, Bruno Mars, John Mayer, Lil Wayne. That's another thing you guys craft up. Like yeah, like I, I I pretty much mentioned this, but like yeah, if it's a goal you have, now the goal could be a creative pursuit. Are you feel me? Like so, if it's a form of creative expression or whatnot, you guys craft. You craft that thing. You craft that thing. I said that in Leo and, and I said I said that about Venus and Leos too. But Venus and Leos, they just love diving into that form of expression so much. They just love living in that creative world so much that it manifests into them always like working and crafting and seeing their creative expression and gifts from a from different perspectives. But Venus and Virgo, when it comes to the day artist, singer, athlete, like woo! Woo! Woo the way they work on it. Woo the way they craft their goddamn gifts and goals and talents. The way that artists stay in the studio. The way that athletes stay in the gym. You gonna learn you gonna learn something about some about some building blocks with Venus and Virgo, alright? So, family, those are energies, Jimmy Fallon, Vin Diesel. Those are some of the energies that we dealing with when we talk about Venus and Virgo, all right? Next, we're going to pick it up with Venus and Libra, all right? And until next time, I'm going to catch you on the flip side, fam. Peace.